Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a review all about the Nike Pegasus 38. So the Pegasus 38 is Nike's flagship shoe that they've had for 38 iterations. It is the daily workhorse, the daily trainer that can pretty much accommodate every type of runner. It has returned labeled as a workhorse with wings. It is in its 38 iteration and it continues to put a spring into your step with the same responsive foam as its predecessor with a new mesh. I go with a mesh upper which more which is more breathable. It sort of combines comfort and durability that you want for a much more of a wider fit on your toes which the 37 did not have. Just a bit of context into this video is the fact that I started off wearing a pair of Pegasus Bowman editions which is probably one of the reasons why I love the Bowman Track Club so much. I think these are the Pegasus 24 or 25 and these are one of the first shoes which had the chip in the shoe which you could track to an iPod to measure your run. So very long time shoe. Just quickly a couple of disclosures to chuck out there is the fact that this shoe was sent to me and given to me as part of a photo shoot with Pro Direct Running. Not obliged to say anything good about the shoe or anything bad about the shoe. I'm going to be completely honest with my opinion about the shoe. This is completely my own thoughts so no one else gets a chance to tell me what to say before I sort of send this video out to you guys here on YouTube. So let's get straight into some specs of the shoe. So this is a UK 8.5. I have gone true to size in my size and I am an 8.5 across all my Nike shoes. This is a road running shoe and it's more or less for a neutral runner. The stack height in the shoe is 27.5 in the heel and 17.5 in the forefoot which gives you a nice 10 mil offset heel to toe. So the weight this comes in at 296 grams in my UK 8.5 and I'd say the fit is pretty secure in terms of what you get for the shoe and the final one for the specs is the fact that this comes in at 105 English pounds which is pretty good price for a daily trainer. It's not breaking the bank compared to it's sort of what else is on the market at the moment. So 105 pounds for the Pegasus 38 and those are your specs. So let's talk specifically about the shoe. So let's start off with the upper. We'll start off at the back. The heel is pretty reinforced. There is a new upper on this shoe. So what Pegasus tend to do is either change the upper one year and then the midsole the next year and then to sort of keep it an iterative update. So this year's update was completely to the upper of the shoe. The previous version was heavily criticized for having a very poor lockdown. I initially tried this shoe and I didn't really, really get on with it or sent it back. I haven't actually worn a Pegasus uh, since the 33 Storm Edition, which I ran the London Marathon in 2017. So it's been a number of years since I've actually worn a Pegasus and I sort of went over to the Vomero line, which is a lot more firmer. So the upper itself, so if we start off around the heel collar, you got that nice sort of tapered flare away from the back, which sort of does keep your foot in. You've got a tiny bit of padding on the inside of the shoe which sort of keeps your heel locked down. It's fairly secure, I mean, it's quite rigid. It's got a good sort of sound to it and the sort of the counter does keep your foot in place. I have no issues in the 25 miles that I have run in this shoe. I sort of to keep my foot locked down. As you move forward, the tongue is very, very padded. It's sort of stitched halfway into where the lacing is. So it's sort of stitched, so you've got to be very careful in terms of if you are pulling and tugging this tongue that you don't actually rip sort of the side of the stitching and there's a slight arch band which sort of hugs the top and middle of your foot around and sort of grips the top of your foot so there's a dual layer arch band which sort of fits this outer material which sits on the outside of the shoe so yeah in terms of the tongue padded no issues you get a good sort of support it sits nicely on the top of your foot no lace pressure no sort of issues tightening the laces or if you want to do the runners not not at all so the laces itself good sort of laces very grippy locked down really well. Moving forward, we've got the toe box and the toe box of this shoe has been increased in terms of to allow your foot more breathability. One of the, again, one of the criticism of the 37 was that it was too narrow and Pegasus tend to be pretty narrow in terms of a shoe. Um, if you look at the profile of the actual shoe, it does follow a very sort of slim contour, but I had no problems with the shoe in terms of my arch being sort of niggly or anything like that, uh, my toes sort of feeling. I did feel um, when I did first put the shoes on that my the middle of my foot was aching only because I tightened it way too tight and I was sort of trying to find what the right lockdown was. But once I achieved that after sort of pausing, it was a, I was able to sort of lock it down fairly well. Moving into the upper, yeah, it's a, it's a material, it's, it's fairly thick. It's... It's pretty thick compared to the Invincible Run or even any other Nike shoes. And obviously this is a daily trainer. It's a lot thicker than you'd expect. Um, the arch band does sort of go forward to the front of the shoe. So it's almost a two layer 
type of shoe in terms of the mesh. It's not too warm, I haven't found it to be too warm, um, but we are running at the moment here in the UK about 15 or so degrees. It's been incredibly wet for the past two weeks. So I haven't really given it a chance or been able to give it a chance in very, very warm weather. So that one is TBC. Couple of things other to add on the upper, you, you do have a slot for the runners knot and you've got these sort of bands which sort of do hug the top of your foot which is sort of built into the line of the foot. Moving on to the midsole, so this is completely unchanged from last year. So you've got a full React midsole with a Zoom airbag in the forefoot of the shoe. It does sit a lot more closer to the bottom of your foot which is the same as 37 Pegasus. And if you go to the bottom of the shoe, you do get that wonderful traction that you get from a Nike Pegasus. The grip on this shoe is really, really good. It's fantastic. I've used it in the wet condition. I've used it in all sorts of sort of hail condition and gravel, um, off-road, towpaths. So I find that the grip of the shoe is exceptional. Better than the Invincible in my eyes in terms of that corner to corner turning. I find as if that I'm very, very stable on the foot which is a huge positive. So yeah, with the midfoot, you know what React is like. It's a very durable, very sort of extremely responsive, lightweight foam, depending on what size you have. I think I'm quite lucky that React, my size, isn't too heavy. It does feel completely different compared to the Invincible. More firmer, more stable underfoot. Now, I'm not saying the Invincible is not stable, but it just feels a little bit more planted. So when you do plant your foot down, it just feels incredibly secure. There's no wobble, there's no issue where you feel like, oh, I'm gonna sort of lose my balance. Again, with React, it does last a long time. It does last a hell of a long time. And this outsole will last you a very, very long time. It is um, typical of Pegasus. You've got that outside rail and that decoupled groove as well at the same time. So what do I like about the shoe? So it's out of the box. It's been very, very familiar in terms of being a very sort of durable, comfortable shoe. Again, once I, once I got that lockdown secured, it was very, very nice to run in. It's very different compared to what I'm used to in the past two, three months compared to the Invincible on an everyday mile, everyday sort of daily trainer. The Invincible I'd say is a lot more enjoyable to run in. What I mean by that, I'm not saying this is not enjoyable, but it's just, it feels a little bit more fun, a little bit more playful. It's got more sort of feeling to it where this is just that daily shoe that you put on, strap it to your feet, you get the miles done, no bells, no whistles, and that's it. So <laughs> I think for that, it's a good shoe to have in my particular rotation because I can't physically say that I'm going to run in the Invincible all the time. I don't think that's good. I don't actually think it might be a good idea to perhaps use such a soft foam all the time. I've always used and liked running in a firm sort of feeling of, the, of a foot and this does feel pretty firm underfoot. It's got that sort of slappy sound. It's not as hollow as the Invincible which I like about the shoe and I think it's fairly responsive. I was quite pleasantly surprised in terms of how nice it felt on my foot and obviously as the miles were turning over, it kept my cadence nice and high. They don't feel too heavy on foot. And in terms of the durability, I know I'm gonna get roughly four to 500 miles out of this shoe, no problem, because of the fact that it is so durable. React is very, very sort of reliable, um, depending on how you look after your shoes and obviously how you run in them, depends on what you'll get out of this shoe. So in terms of the feeling and what I like about the shoe, they feel good on the miles and they also feel good at different speeds when you're slightly pushing the pace. Again, if you're gonna pick one shoe that you might have in your rotation or one shoe that you're gonna go forward with, most often than not, it's gonna be the Pegasus that does accommodate all of those paces and all that sort of types of distance that you do run. I've run marathons in previous Pegasus. I've done my speed work in this shoe and I've also run easy miles and recovery miles in this shoe. And there's no, there's no difference. It doesn't feel any worse at a slower pace or doesn't feel any worse at a faster pace. It actually feels a bit more nicer. You, again, you have that very, very stable lockdown at the back of the shoe, which sort of does help keep your foot in the shoe and also help you sort of sort of propel yourself on every single foot strike. One thing I would say is that the shoe does deliver quite a fluid sort of ride, quite nice feeling in terms of, I'm kind of glad I skipped the 37 because I think I would have gone into this with a sort of preconception of what that shoe might have been. So with the fact that this isn't such a heavy shoe, it's, I mean, it's not too rigid, which is pretty good. And the sort of, you do get the response from the front of the shoe if you do land on that sort of four foot side, it's not, uh, hugely noticeable but there is that responsiveness and that snappiness that when you do land it does sort of just give you back and sort of just propel you on that every so step and it does keep your stride and your gait cycle feeling quite natural and quite fluid they don't feel like bricks on your feet. I'm um, just moving to a couple of points on what I don't like about the shoe. Um, I don't like the fact that it's quite 
It is quite open and floppy at the front. I mean, this is very, there's not a lot of structure there, which I think is just a very, very minor point. I think that's me being heavily, heavily critical about the shoe. It could have been a little bit more extra sort of structure and rigidity added to sort of where your ankle sits. But I think again, that's just a very, very small amount. Other than that, I think it's a fairly, fairly solid shoe. Um, the, for the price point and for what you get as a daily shoe, it is a very, very good return on what you get. Colorway is great. You've got some excellent colorways here. Just to let you know that that's a park run symbol, which was put on by ProDirect. So this doesn't actually come onto the shoe. So this was a one-off special. So just so you know. And another thing I like to add is that bit of the tongue. I mean, I, it doesn't really add anything. I'm not too sure. I think this could have been better if it was stitched down to the shoe. I mean, it doesn't actually bother you. It doesn't actually bother the laces. It does give you a route for the laces to go under, but it's just a little bit flimsy and just feels a little bit budget in a way that there wasn't a lot of care or attention done to what and how that sits on the top of the shoe. So I have trialed it with wearing a thin pair of socks and also a thick pair of socks. There was no difference between the two. I just felt like the thicker pair just made it a little bit more secure on my foot and gave me that sort of closer fit as opposed to the thinner sock. Aside from that, I think it's a pretty solid shoe. You really can't go wrong with a pair of Pegasus. If you're fortunate enough and lucky enough to actually like the Pegasus line, you're gonna like this update much, much more than the 37. If you are sitting there with a pair of 37s and you're looking to upgrade, it's a very worthwhile upgrade. If you love the 37, you might not necessarily love the 38, just because there is a lot more room in the toe box. Your feet can breathe a little bit more, so it does suit more of a wider foot person. So if you're coming back to the line, you'll love it. If you're coming from the 37, there might be a couple of issues that you might not like too much about the particular shoe. Other than that, I think it's a pretty, pretty solid shoe and it is a shoe going forward in my rotation that I'm going to have. So my current rotation looks like Pegasus and Invincible for easy and recovery. I'm wearing an old battered pair of neck percent for any speed and up tempo work and threshold work. And for my race day, I've got a fresher pair of next percent. A thumbs up from me if I was to give it a score out of 10 with 10 being the absolute max. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. I think it's a very eight out of 10 shoe. It gives an eight out of 10 experience in terms of, it just feels good underfoot. There's, like I said earlier in the video, there wasn't, it's not, oh my God, I'm wowed by this shoe. It's just the fact that it just does the job. And that is what the Pegasus does. It's named as a workhorse. It does the daily miles, it's a daily grinder. It does all of that and above. So for me, it gives an eight out of 10 for the Pegasus 38. So guys, thank you for watching this video and this review of this shoe. If you've got any comments, drop them down below. You are considering going from the 37 to the 38. Let me know down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it does help push this video out to everyone else and subscribe down below and turn on the bell notifications for when I post a new video. So I hope your running is going really well. Thank you all for the comments for the pre on the previous video for the 5K. I was over it the day after the run, so don't worry, it didn't bother me too much. I hope to see you very soon. In the meantime, peace out.